Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. I'm answering a question from one of the old Solomon papers, Solomon J for Statistics S1. Um, this question is also question number 12 from my end of topic worksheet, um, on, which covers chapters 1 to 3 of the book. And this is um, question number 12 from my worksheet, question number 4 from Solomon J. It says, a company offering a bicycle courier service within London collected data on the delivery times for a sample of jobs co completed by staff at each of its two offices. The times team minutes for 20 deliveries handled by the company's Hammersmith office were summarized by the sum of t equals 427 and the sum of t squared equals 11,077. Find the mean and variance of the delivery times in this sample. Okay, so this is basically the sum of all the times for those 20 deliveries. So the number of entries in this is 20. And that's the sum of all the times. And that's the sum of all the squares of the time. So you take each time, you square it and add them together. Right, so first of all, the mean. The mean is pretty simple. The mean is basically the total sum of all the times divided by the number of entries, which is 427 divided by 20, which will give us the answer which we need just uh, round it to 3SF in the end. That gives us 21.35. As it comes out as like an exact value, you can leave it at 21.35, that's fine. So that's the mean of this data. And the variance. Now the variance, now remember the variance is given by the formula, um, the mean of the squares minus the square of the mean. That's the variance. The standard deviation is the square root of the variance, but here they want the variance. So the mean of the squares is basically when you take the sum of all the squares of the values divided by the number of entries, and you subtract that from that, the mean, which is the sum of the entries divided by the number of entries. Okay, so it's basically um, by the square of the mean, sorry. So, okay, so the mean of the squares minus the square of the mean. So you take the mean, which we just found earlier, and you square it and subtract it from the sum of the squares of all the entries divided by the number of entries. So this is going to be 11,077 divided by 20 minus our last answer, which I'll write it in its fractional form to make it more accurate, squared. So that's going to be the variance. So if we take um, 11,077 and we divide that by 20, that's the mean of the squares minus the last answer squared, that's the square of the mean, that will give us the variance, which is 98.0275, uh, 98.0275 here, it's better, I guess, to round it to 3SF, 98.0. So we can say that the mean, the mean is 21.35, you can write 21.4, that's fine, and the variance is equal to 90. 98.0. So there's the answer to part A. Now for part B, it says the company's Holborn office handles more business, so the delivery times for a sample of 30 jobs handled by this office was taken. The mean and standard deviation of this sample was 18.5 and 8.2 meters uh, minutes, sorry, respectively. Okay, so the mean and standard deviation. So we can say that the time, the mean time for the Holborn office. Okay, they're both H, aren't they? Hammersmith and Holzbord. They're going to make it. Right, I'll, I'll say the mean time for the second office. So the mean time for the second office. Is equal to 18.5. And um, the standard deviation for the second office is 8.2 minutes. Okay, so now we want to find the mean and variance of the delivery times of the combined sample of 50 deliveries. Okay, so let's consider um, the total sum of from Holborn. Let's look, at, let's look at the Holborn office and let's work out. We want to find the total sum of, of all the Holborn office and we need to find the total sum of the squares of the Holborn office. So for this one, it's pretty simple, all right, because we know that the number of entries here is 30. So I know that the mean is equal to the total sum of all the entries divided by the number of entries. So I know the mean here, the mean here is 18.5, and 
and that's equal to the total sum of all the entries, which we don't know, over 30, which is the number of entries. So therefore, we can say the sum of all the times for the second office are 18.5 multiplied by 30, which gives us, so you have 18.5 multiplied by 30. That gives us 555. Okay, so that's the sum of all the times for the second office. All right. And now we need to find the sum of all the times squared. So we know that the standard deviation is the square root of, or we can say the variance, which is the square of the standard deviation. So the square of the standard deviation is equal to the mean of the squares, which is the sum of all these squared divided by the number of entries minus the mean, okay, squared, the mean squared, which we just found. So we can use this formula here and take the standard deviation, which is 8.2, and square it. And that's equal to the sum of all these times squared divided by the number of entries, which is 30, minus the mean squared, which is, um, the mean was 18.5, they told us, squared. All right. So th using this, we can find the sum of all t squareds. So we can say the sum of all the t squareds is going to be equal to um, so if we if we make this a subject, we're going to have to have 8.2 squared plus 18.5 squared and then multiply that by 30. Okay, because you're going to add this to both sides and multiply by 30, you've got the sum of all t squareds. So the sum of all t squareds is going to be given by um, 8.2 squared plus 18.5 squared and then multiplied by 30 which gives you 1 12,284.7 12,284.7 let me just make sure yeah so that's the sum of all the t squareds for for number two so therefore we can say let's look at the total for both the total for both offices so we got the sum of t1 and 2 T1 and 2 is the sum of T1 plus the sum of T2 is going to be um, the sum of all the times in T1 was 427. So you have 427 plus 555. So therefore, the sum of the times for both offices is going to be 427 plus 555. That gives us 982. And the sum of the squares of the times for T1 and T2, well, the sum of T, T1 all squared is 11,077. That's from the first part of the question. So you have 11,077 plus we got 12,284.7. So we got, we got this plus 11,077. That gives you 23,361.7. 23,361.7. So that's the sum of T1 plus 2 squares. The squares of all those entries, 23,361.7. So therefore, we can find the, the mean of T1 and 2 is going to be 982 divided by 50. Because there's 50. The number of entries now is 50. So we take that. So we have 982 divided by 50, which gives us 19.64. 19.64, we can leave it like that. And we can find that the variance of T1 and 2 is going to be the mean of the squares, which is 23,361.7 over 50. The mean of the squares minus the square of the mean, which is 982 over 50, all squared. So we're going to um, use this value in a minute. So we have 23,361.7 over 50. Okay, minus the last answer squared. And that will be the variance. We're looking for the variance. That will be the variance, which is 81.5. 084481.5044. 80, so we can say therefore the variance 
is equal to 81.5. So there's the variance and there's the mean. Okay, so there's the mean. So we found the mean and the variance of this data. I should have really gone to the next page, but I couldn't be bothered. But yeah, so th that's question number four done. So you have to basically, uh, you know, just follow the, the formula that we know for mean and variance. Okay, and for the first part of the question, it's really pretty simple. The second part, um, we have to work out what the sum of the all the entries is, which is easy for, if we know the mean. And we need to what, know the, the sum of all the squares of the entries, which again is pretty simple if we know the standard deviation. Remember, the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So, you know, the, this formula here, the square root of the, the standard deviation, the variance is equal to the mean of the squares, as the mean of the squares minus the square of the mean. So we need to find what the sum of the squares is. So we use that formula there. And then we combine them together to get the combined mean and variance of the combined sample. We need to find the sum of all the entries and the sum of the squares of all the entries. And from those, we can work out our um, mean and variance. So that concludes this question number four from the Solomon J paper, number 12 from the end of topic worksheet. Thank you for watching. Other questions from this particular um, paper, Solomon J S1 can be found in the play playlist that will appear over here. Other questions from this particular worksheet um, from S1 can be found in the playlist over here, which is um, about worksheet one to three. And other questions dealing with standard deviation and mean and variance and all these issues of, of calculating averages can be found in the playlist that will appear over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.